Hey everyone, are watching us on VTN TV. This is Mwes Gwamgwa Bosco, the Edisha Wisdom Center, Karumuna, that's the Bugesera. Yeah, as usual, I'm your science teacher, and uh, I'm back, that again we look at uh, our daily activities that we see that uh, we will go on with our work. Yes, so people who are there, the whole country, please. Yeah, let's go together, we we'll discuss work, that's the time, time you get back to school, yeah, you're together with us and uh, you don't have any problem. So uh, we are there to give you work, to discuss with you. So in this lesson, yeah, we are going to have discussion, you are having activities together. So it is better that we go together this time. So today uh, we are looking at uh, still the topic which we began last time, that's the human body. Uh, but today we are going to go specifically looking at blood circulation look at the types of blood circulation, uh, look at, uh, yes, how blood moves in the different blood, bl uh, within the blood vessels. So which blood vessels will carry blood from this uh, different uh, organ to another organ? So that's majorly one to handle this time. So please, as uh, P6 members, candidates, and rest, yes, let us uh, look at work for this time. Uh, so, but remember, before any, for any problem you get, always check on our contacts here. Yes, you can find us on these contacts. Anytime you call us, we can help you. For any problem, you yes, don't mind, call that. Then uh, on emails, you can send your messages. We can still answer you, respond to you. Yes, on our website, we can still respond to you for any query. Uh, so this time, uh, we can now move to uh, today's work. And that's specifically, as Alia said, about uh, blood circulation. So simply, uh, when we talk about blood circulation, uh, we, we refer to the movement of blood in the body. Yes, so blood moves to different parts of the body, okay? So last time we talked about uh, the circulatory system, where, meaning all the movements of actually of transport of different uh, substances or materials in the body. But for this time, we are looking specifically at blood. How is blood transported uh, from different body parts to other body parts? Yes, and this is simply a refer to blood circulation, which we are referring to movement of blood from one place to another, from one body part to another. Yes, so uh, this is uh, simply you can define blood circulation, okay? Uh, the movement of blood around the body, as simple as that, okay? So uh, moving together, yes, we need to look at this. If you understand the blood circulation, uh, so we need to look at the types of blood circulation first. And majorly, there are two types of blood circulation. Where we have uh, the one which is referred to small circulation, which is also uh, the pulmonary circulation. So simply, when you talk of small circulation, Majorly because blood is going to move actually within a, a short distance, okay? It won't go to far areas. And this is referred to pulmonary circulation. Blood moves along the pulmonary vein and then the pulmonary artery. That's why we also call it pulmonary circulation. Circulation of blood along the pulmonary artery and the pulmonary vein. So simply as we move on, we can simply look at this. Small circulation in simple terms is the movement of blood from the heart to the lungs and back to the heart. Yes? So we want to look at this thing. How does this happen? Blood moves from, okay, simply, yes, from the heart and then it goes to the lungs and back to the heart. Yes. So we want to see why does this happen? So we shall see blood moving from the heart, going to lungs. This blood has no oxygen. It ha so it has to go to the lungs to get oxygen or to be oxygenated and then drop carbon, drop carbon dioxide. Remember we said in, ox in a, when blood goes to lungs because of the, it combines with oxygen and it will, be, it will form uh, uh, the substance called oxyhemoglobin because uh, the red liquid mixed with, the, with oxygen Okay, or oh, hemoglobin, which is the red color in the blood, we mix with oxygen within the lungs and they form a new substance called oxyhemoglobin. Okay, so uh, this sort will now be transported from the lungs and then back to the heart. Then from the heart to all other body parts. Yes, so we are saying that uh, at this still, as we say that uh, 
Uh, small circulation is called pulmonary circulation simply because it takes place within the pulmonary artery and the pulmonary vein. So we can look at this and uh, as a demonstration simple, simply looking at a, a, a clear understanding of the of small circulation. So if you are to pick this, yes, uh, we can just simply uh, have a demonstration this way. So when we talk of a small circulation, okay, small circulation, and it's also referred to pulmonary circulation because blood will move along the pulmonary vein and then the pulmonary artery. So these ones, now this gives us still as pulmonary circulation. Pulmonary circulation. Okay? Yes, so with this, yes, to understand easily about small circulation, yes. So we are saying that the blood will simply move from the heart to the lungs and again back to the heart, okay? As simple as that. So within a, just within a short distance, which is going to be the opposite of the second type, where blood will move from the heart to all the body parts, so it will be big. So for this case, uh, small circulation, we can simply... Okay, if you want to show, we can start, have arrangement. If you say blood can start, okay. Yes, from the heart. So you can write here, heart. Okay, so from here, blood will flow to the lungs. So... Okay, so from the heart, we can see blood flows to the lungs. This is the blood without oxygen. So it has to go to the lungs to get oxygen, to be oxygenated, and then it drop or release carbon dioxide. So within here, we said blood, okay, yeah, uh, we'll get uh, the, the red pigment or color in the blood, which is called hemoglobin, will get mixed with oxygen or combined with oxygen within the lungs here, and then we form a new substance called oxyhemoglobin. Okay, and that's how it will be now carried from the lungs back to the heart, okay, to be transported to different parts of the body. So now from the lungs, as we said here, blood has to go back to the heart. Uh, so now we shall have heart. Okay. So it is, you can see it is quite easy to understand. When you ask to explain small circulation, it's just very easy. So simply half, okay, just say heart, lungs, heart. As simple like this. So you can simply define from this arrangement, you can say small circulation is the movement or flow of blood from the heart to the lungs and back to the heart. So it can simply arrangement be a heart, lungs, heart. Or one can even say, HLH. Yes. So this is simply small circulation. So from this, yes, they can also give, yeah, we can put a small arrangement. This can be in abbreviation, it can be H, okay, to, a, to L, and then to H. Yeah. So simply, yes, from the heart to the lungs, and then to the heart. This simply shows a small circulation of blood. And then uh, uh, we need to take care, we'll see this, when blood moves from the heart to the lungs, we need to know which blood vessel is this that is carrying blood from the heart to the lungs. And then uh, simply here we said blood from the lungs will move along the pulmonary artery, okay? From the heart to the lungs. So this simply carries blood without oxygen and that's deoxygenated the blood. And then uh, when we get to this, when blood gets to lungs, it will get mixed with oxygen. That is uh, hemoglobin plus oxygen, which will get oxyhemoglobin, which will be carried now back to the heart, okay? Along which this blood vessel will be now the pulmonary vein. Remember veins carry blood with, without oxygen, but for this blood vessel, which is called pulmonary vein, carries blood 
that has oxygen from the lungs back to the heart. And then from the heart, the blood will be pumped to all other body parts. So this gives us a clear view of the small circulation. So we simply refer to uh, small circulation because blood will move along a short, dis along a short distance, which is just the primary vein and primary artery back to the heart. Then uh, this can push us to the second, uh, yes, the second type of blood circulation. And uh, that will be, uh, the, uh, we can simply refer this to the opposite, okay, of small. So if you have a small circulation, what should be now the opposite? Yes, now this will be big circulation. Big circulation. Okay, so big circulation of blood, uh, we can also refer this uh, to systemic circulation, okay? From the word system, systemic circulation. Okay? Yeah, why do we now refer this to big circulation? Remember, we say that for small circulation, blood will move actually through a long, a short distance from the heart to the lungs and then back to the heart. But when we go to the big circulation, now it will be the opposite. So blood has to take a longer distance, okay? So from the heart, moving to all body parts, upper body parts, lower body parts, actually all body organs, yes? Uh, this will be now simply the big circulation. And then uh, we also refer to systemic circulation because it's a system, it's going to be a combination of different organs. So blood moving from the heart to different body organs, going to the kidney, going to the liver, okay? Going to the upper body, upper body parts, the brain, okay? All lower body parts. So you can see all the distance the blood is going to move through. That is simply referred to big circulation. So uh, having uh, a clear way of defining this, okay? If you want to know how to define this, have the arrangement first. So the arrangement is still here for big circulation, as we said. Blood moves from the heart, begins from the heart, okay? Actually, in both small and big circulation, we start from the heart, okay? So for this case, we can put here heart. This is the arrangement. So from the heart, in big circulation, blood will move, okay, to all body parts. Or we can say other body parts. Okay. One can say other body parts. Or you can just say body parts. Yes. Mm -hmm. So uh, blood moving, yes, now. Reaching other body parts like the kidney, the liver, yes. That's we are meaning apart from yes, apart from the, the, the lungs, yes. So to move to the kidney, the liver, yeah, uh, you find uh, the small stomach and intestines, yes. So lower body parts, any part of the body, upper body parts, talk about the brain. So all those ones, blood has to go to each part of the body. So this is uh, carried, okay, from. The, from the heart, all body parts or other body parts to be carried by a blood vessel called iota. Iota simply, this one is the largest, or is the, uh, we can say is the main artery, okay, that carries blood from the heart to all other body parts. And this carries blood with oxygen, that's referred to oxygenated blood. And then, so again from now, from these other parts of the body, blood has to come back to the heart, okay? For this, now it is, we can simply now write here, heart. Okay? Yes. So we are saying, uh -huh, from other body parts, okay, blood has to get back to the heart. So the arrangement is heart, body, or other body parts, and then Heart. So shall we take a B. Shall we say heart, body, heart. So simple arrangement. You can just write H, okay, and then from H you can write B, okay, and then H. This arrangement, yeah. So this gives you a simple way of defining. But I ask you, 
Simply define big circulation. Just write your arrangement. You say H, B, H. And you can simply see uh, big circulation is the movement of blood from the heart to the body parts or to other body parts and back to the heart. So for H represents heart and then B represents the body. When you come to small circulation, still H represents heart, the heart, and then uh, uh, L represents lungs, and then H to represent the human heart. So for small will be H, L, H. So heart, lungs, heart. So simply uh, coming back here to, to big circulation, from the heart, all body parts, long distances, and then you get back to the heart. So we need to ask also, why does blood come, has to come back to the heart? So blood from all other body parts, we simply see here that uh, it has now oxygen that has got used up, okay? Now it has no oxygen. It's now containing carbon dioxide, okay? And waste products. So once it comes back to the heart, majorly from the heart, it will be sent, okay? Uh, it, okay, it will be sent to the heart that it can, can develop pressure, that it can send it to the lungs for oxygenation, oxygenation to get oxygen. And then from there, uh, once it gets oxygen, drops carbon dioxide, then it can now come back to the heart to be pumped all body parts or other body parts again, and this, this, uh, and the cycle continues. So this uh, will be actually always helping you. They can give you different arrangements. They can mix here and uh, let's say, right, begin with the heart and again, or again, add heart. And they ask you, they give you like maybe three arrangements, which is, which of them shows small circulation? Which of them shows big circulation? So to understand this simply, for big circulation, look at this. When you look at, you compare the two, okay? Uh, when you compare the two, when you see here, body, okay? And the lungs, what is bigger? Of course, the body is bigger because the lungs are just part of the body. So this arrangement, having the word body, it gives you, actually, uh, it takes the bigger part, the bigger, which is now the big circulation of blood. So the rest will remain. You can see on your left, there's heart and then right heart. Even here, heart and heart. The difference is just in the middle parts. So you can just write heart, heart, and then heart, Heart. Then in the middle here, you can just write one give L, one give B, which is body. So the one for body, simply large or big circulation. So you'll be asked in exams, okay? A differentiate or distinguish between big and small circulation. So big circulation is simply write big, write heart, body, heart. Movement of blood is the movement of blood or the flow of blood from the heart to all body parts or to other body parts and back to the heart. While big, well, small circulation is the movement of blood from the heart to the lungs and back to the heart. Oh yes, meaning it begins, okay, within the heart, okay? This is very important and again back to the heart. So blood has to go to different parts with the pressure, gets back to the heart to get pressure to be pumped again to other body parts. So they can simply ask you, why does blood go to lungs? We said that blood goes to lungs for two reasons. Uh, number one, as we say, that uh, to, get, to be oxygenated or to get oxygen. And then number two, be to drop or release carbon dioxide. That's when it will be released as a waste product from the lungs. Okay? Then uh, still we can also be asked, why does blood from other body parts has to go to lungs? Yeah, so it has to go to lungs to be pumped. To, so also has to go to the heart, to the heart yes, first to develop pressure that can be pumped to the lungs. So this uh, gives us a, a key way forward. So we can uh, actually still check on uh, big circulation as uh, we have defined it. Yes, so uh, looking at, uh, yes, yes, as we, we, we looked at, we were defining big circulation. Yes, so we can check this, okay? Uh, we simply said, yes, for big circulation is also referred to as systemic circulation, okay? Uh, in this system, we say it's the movement of blood from the heart to all other body organs and back to the heart. So we are saying blood has to go to the lungs, kidney, liver, brain, and other body organs, okay, for their proper functioning. Yes, 
Because these ports need, need water, need oxygen, need for nutrients for growth. Yes, so that's why blood has to go to other body parts. So you can be asked, that why does blood from the heart has to go to other body parts or to all body parts? Simply to transport, okay, uh, oxygen. Yes, transport uh, for nutrients. Yes, so these are all uh, uh, very important. And uh, this, yes, we have looked at the illustration of big and small circulation. Illustration simply means demonstration, okay, by use of diagrams. So you can be asked that by use of a diagram, show the small circulation. So simply draw a diagram representing, uh, let's say, heart, lungs, and then heart. The summary I've given. When I ask you by use of a diagram or illustration, show a uh, big circulation. Still, yes, draw using HBH, heart, body, heart. Then if for small, HLH. So meaning heart, lungs, and then back to the heart. As simple as that. So yes, as we move ahead, remember, defining small circulation, simply say uh, small circulation, the movement of blood from the heart to the lungs and back to the heart. While big circulation uh, refers to the movement or flow of blood from the heart to all other body parts and back to the heart. Yes, so those are simply are the two types of uh, circulation, blood circulation. Uh, so this now can give us a way forward to the structure of the circulatory system where we can see all other blood vessels that we've been talking about, okay? So this one shows you the movement of blood or within the whole body. So uh, simply here, uh, we can uh, yes, check or begin actually from the heart. Let us first bring back, okay, go to the types of circulation. Yeah, we talked of the small circulation, okay? So majorly here, okay, uh, in small circulation beginning with the heart here, blood will have to flow from the heart to the lungs. These are lungs, okay? So these structures are showing the capillaries. Capillaries are found in the organs, okay? Where there will be exchange of, gas, of gases. Uh, so we are saying from the heart to the lungs, blood is moving along a blood vessel called the pulmonary artery. This blood has no oxygen where we are using blue, okay? And then uh, sometimes we can say, yeah, it's all dark red. And then the blood which has oxygen is majorly bright red, okay? So uh, from the lungs, blood has to come back to the heart, okay? This will be along the blood vessel simply known as pulmonary vein. So this one's movement of blood along pulmonary artery and pulmonary vein is we are referring this to small circulation. So it's a short distance from the lungs to the heart and back to the heart. Sorry, from the heart to the lungs and back to the heart. Then uh, uh, when we go to the big circulation, yes. So you can see from the heart, Blood has to move, yes, say, let's say, from the heart to all other body organs, okay? Yes, uh, this is simply uh, through the iota. Iota is the major blood vessel, the major artery, okay? Artery is a blood vessel, so the major artery is simply, simply the iota. So iota will now, from the iota, shall be getting small branches, okay, small branches, Branches from the iota, let's say from the iota to upper body, like to the head, which is the carotid artery. Uh, okay. Then uh, actually any blood vessel joined to the, to the iota will be an artery. Okay. Then let us check here. Still iota, oh, this is iota. And then so from iota joining the liver, okay, which is now hepatic artery. Okay. Then uh, move down. So we can see this from iota to stomach and intestines, uh, this will be a mesentric artery, okay? We can ask you uh, which blood vessel can transport blood from iota to stomach and intestines. So this simply will be uh, the mesentric artery. Then from stomach and intestines, blood has to go to the liver. It will, yes, the blood vessel here will be simply the hepatic portal vein. This is a small branch of blood vessel, uh, but very important, okay? Yes, it carries the food nutrients from the stomach and intestines. 
Yes. Uh, to the to the to the to the liver. So uh, again, moving down, you can see again from yes, you see from iota to the kidney. These are the kidneys. Okay. So uh, this simply will be renal artery. Uh huh. And again, we move down. Yes, lower body parts. Yes. Uh, yes, from the iota, you're simply moving to the, uh, to the, to the lower body parts, like uh, abdom abdomen, the legs. Yeah, this would be the iliac artery. So again, no, now we can again move back, okay, this side. So you can see, okay, on our right side, we said is the left side, okay? And the right side, the left side, our left side, the right side of the heart, of for, for blood circulation because it's facing us, okay? Now, as we move on, we can see that uh, we have put different colors, okay? There's this in a bright red. This in a bright red, this is blood with oxygen and this is simply referred to oxygenated blood. Remember, we have two types of blood. We have blood with oxygen is referred to oxygenated blood and then this have the, uh, the dark red blood. This is simply referred to deoxygenated blood, blood without oxygen. So when blood moves, let's say, uh, from iota, going to different body organs, you say like the kidneys, the, the stomach and intestines, the liver, uh, all other body organs, uh, blood, yes, will be, oxygen will be used up within uh, these organs because it's transporting oxygen in those parts, transporting full nutrients. So within these structures so these are capillaries okay so capillaries majorly are uh, they help they connect arteries to veins yes so artery to the vein so and within still capillaries this exchange of what of of gases so they can ask you to give the two functions or uses of capillaries as we move on we shall see to say that uh, they connect arteries to veins and also help uh, in exchange of gases now, yes, blood with oxygen, which is going to get used up within the blood, uh, within the body organs. So like here from the kidney, yes, we shall see. Joining from the kidney, joining the major vein, which is the vena cover. So this branch, oh, this side, this is the vena cover and this is the artery, okay? So as we simply said, from iota is an artery, let us say from iota, to the kidney is renal artery. Then uh, from the kidney, okay, to the vena cover will be renal vein. So veins join uh, the organs to the main major vein. And, and then here, yeah, the arteries will join iota, which is the major artery to the organs. Yes, so as we move on, we can still see uh, from, check here, from, okay, the liver, to the to the to vena cover it is simply okay the hepatic vein so hepatic vein is the opposite of the hepatic artery hepatic artery connects iota to the liver while hepatic vein connects the liver yes to the vena cover so carrying blood from the liver back to vena cover this blood has no oxygen so uh, from here again we can move check on upper body okay Yes, so let's say blood from other parts of the body, you can find uh, majorly, uh, we you say, can see the use of the, uh, from up, can simply look at uh, the superior vena cover, and then from down be the inferior vena cover. Yes, so uh, all this now blood has to go back to the heart. But as before we move to another part, don't remember this important vein. They can ask you which important vein connects the stomach and intestines or guts, okay, to the liver. This is simply the hepatic portal vein. Yes. So check, you can check on this side. Uh, we are simply meaning from this you can see up to down. This is systemic circulation. You can see it is a long distance from, all, from the heart to all body organs and again back to the heart. That is the big circulation or systemic circulation. Uh, we refer to a system because it's a combination of different organs, okay? Yes, and then uh, this part you can see, the small part, just here from the heart 
to the lungs and back to the heart. This will refer to small circulation or pulmonary circulation. Yes, we, yes, so we can check on the keys here. So where we have put red, we are seeing that all bright red, vessels transporting blood with oxygen, okay, which is oxygenated blood. And then, uh, yes, we can see these are, uh, yes, blood vessels which are dark red, okay, this is blood without oxygen. So there are vessels transporting blood without oxygen. And this is simply referred to the oxygenated blood. Okay, okay. And then uh, down, we shall have vessels involved in the exchange of gases. So you can see this one, these structures we are showing uh, the capillaries. Okay, these ones is where the exchange of actually gases will take place within the capillaries. So from oxygen, uh, gas dissolved within this blood, uh, within these capillaries, where uh, food oxygen will be used. Okay. And then we remain with carbon dioxide, which will be produced. Then sent back from all these body organs back to the heart. And then from the heart to has to develop pressure and be sent to the lungs for oxygenation. Okay, and then back from the heart, from the lungs back to the heart. So all this structure helps us to understand the whole system of blood circulation. Uh, that's this small and then big circulation of blood. So from here now, we are able to answer different questions which you can be asked, okay? So, uh, yes, uh, moving on, okay? Yes, we can say, let's say, uh, given here, NB, we asked which blood vessel connects or carries blood? And let's see number one. We are saying, yes, from, yeah, number one, from the heart to the lungs. Yeah, simply checking. So as I said, when we were beginning our work, we said, yes, we want to have this together as a discussion. So uh, as we go together, please, yes, let us see how we can answer this. And so uh, yes, check this. So number one, you ask which blood vessel carries, okay, blood, or let's say connects the heart, the lungs. Let us check our, our diagram. Simply from our diagram, you can see, Yes, from the heart to the lungs, yes. So which blood vessel is this? So you can answer that. Then uh, we check the next number, that's number two. Uh, still, which blood vessel connects the lungs to the heart? Yes, we can still ch check on the diagram. So this should always be on our fingertips. Like here, we are saying, yes, now the heart to the lungs, or the lungs to the heart. So lungs to the heart, so you can check which blood vessel is this, you can see. Okay, you can answer still that uh, as we move on. Then uh, we have still number three. So you can keep checking on the diagram to get easily ways, not so. So we discussed on this. We talked over, yes, the heart to all body parts. Yes, uh, which artery is this? Can carry blood from the heart to all body parts? And then number four, check on this. We are asked, yes, uh, which, can, uh, which blood vessel carries blood from all body parts back to the heart? Remember, yes, we said this is the major vein carrying blood without oxygen back to the heart. Okay, so which blood vessel is that? So you can simply answer this. Then for number five, we are still asked, uh, the blood vessel that carries blood from the iota to the kidney, okay? So simply with the kidneys, simply we talk of renal, renal artery, renal vein. And remember, for all these blood vessels, carrying blood from iota, which is the major artery, so there will be arteries. If a blood vessel now is connecting or joining to the vena cava, the vena cava is the major vein. So any blood vessel joining to the vena cava, it will be a vein. Yes, let us see here. So blood vessel that joins or carries blood from the iota to the, uh, to the kidney. So this should be an artery, which is now uh, the uh, renal artery. And then uh, number seven, number six, okay. Uh, which blood vessel carries blood from the kidney to the vena cava? So remember, the vena cava is a, is a major vein in the body. So whatever joins the vena cava should be a vein. 
So check from, from the kidney to the vena cava. Which vein is this? Okay? So you can answer this. Uh, we can still, yes, look at, uh, yes, the next number, and that's number seven, and uh, we, as we summarize our work. So let us get together. Yes, checking on this side, looking at uh, number seven, okay? Uh, we asked here simply, it's like a summary, okay? Uh, because for number seven, it gives a summary of uh, blood circulation, okay? Majorly here in the body, yes. We are saying the diagram below shows a summary of the circulatory system. Yes, so uh, it is a summary because it is combining the big circulation and then the small circulation. So from what we've been discussing, okay? Simply check here. We're asking, uh, yes, check, we have lungs, Okay, we have here heart and then other body parts. Yes, so this is just a remedy which is given, okay, uh, to, which combines the two, combines the small and then big circulation. Let us now check, because we are asked to answer. A, name the, name the blood vessel, A, B, C, and D. Yes, so check, blood vessel A means that is from lungs to the heart. Okay, blood coming from the lungs to the heart, blood with oxygen. So which blood vessel is that? We have, yes, talked about this for several times. So we can simply look at this. You can even still use your hand as talked of last time. We said the trick of the hand is very important. Just simply get, yeah, just use your palm, turn the left side, back part of it. Remember, we said from lungs, okay? Blood from lungs, uh, it's going to move, okay? Let's say, okay, to the lungs to move using the second finger representing the primary artery, blood goes to the lungs. From there comes back along the fourth finger which represents the primary vein. So you can see this is blood with oxygen. Okay, this is just a demonstration for you. Remember I told you never forget this. Always get uh, the four fingers showing blood vessels and then the downer part we divide and form the four chambers of the heart. So we can now move still, checking on this. Uh, now we will go to part B, because we have now seen part A. So moving to part B, yes, from the heart to all body parts, yes. Which blood vessel is this? From the heart to all body parts. This is, the, remember this is the major artery, okay? So you can easily answer that. answer that. Then uh, from all other body parts back to the heart. That's part D. Yes, this is simply the major vein. So check from the heart to all body parts, the major artery, which is which I've discussed, actually is the aorta. Okay. Then from the uh, that's to the to all body parts from the heart to all body parts, and then from all body parts back to the heart. By that carried blood is carried along the major vein, which is simply referred to vena cava. So we can answer. So all other body parts or other parts of the body back to the heart. So that is part uh, D you can answer. Coming to part C, yes, you can also uh, try this. From the heart to the lungs, that is part C. Which blood vessel is that? So uh, you can answer this complete number uh, left for you. And uh, actually right from number one up to number seven, you can easily go through such that uh, uh, these blood vessels, there's a say, movement of blood from, from the kidney to the, uh, from the kidney to the vena cava, from, uh, let's say, from iota to the kidney. Yes, this should be easy for us. So always go through this work to help you. So please, yes, uh, we can uh, end here for today. We have, of course, we at least we have handled the parts Yes, so this lesson we wanted to handle past like uh, talking about uh, uh, the types of actually the blood vessel, or bl blood circulation, where we define blood circulation. We defined, uh, we looked at different types, which are, that is small circulation and then uh, big circulation. We defined these two, okay? Where we said for small circulation, simply the movement of blood from the heart to the lungs and back to the heart. Then when we went for the big circulation, which is also referred to systemic circulation, 
We say it's simply the movement of blood from the heart to all body parts and back to the heart. So the quick technique is here, trick is that a blood begins from the heart and it, again it comes back to the heart. Okay, so it will be H and again N at the beginning H and at the end H. So put in the middle in one arrangement L, the second arrangement put there B, where you put L representing lungs, so be small circulation. So one for heart, body, heart for big circulation. So this will be easy for us and uh, always, yes, for us, it's quite easy in case you want to follow us, uh, always uh, watch BTN TV. You'll be getting these lessons every day. And then uh, uh, check on YouTube, you'll be getting our lessons uh, for uh, Wisdom Center website. You'll get all these questions. So keep following uh, to be helped every time we are there for you. Thank you uh, for your time and following us.